A full-on political war has broken out between the AAP and the BJP this after the Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sodia has been called in for questioning by the CBI in connection with the Delhi excise policy case nearly three months after filing the charge sheet in the case. Now, Manish Sodia has alleged that all agencies, all the full power of uh, agencies under the BJP-led central government have been unleashed to hound him. The BJP is asking if there was nothing wrong. Why did the Ahmadmi Party take back this policy? And that Kamal has been the Prime Minister Kejriwal. In the same way, we have said a joke that in Delhi, शराब घोटाला हुआ ही नहीं और मैं बड़ी विनम्रता से केजीवाल जी से सिर्फ दो या तीन सवाल पूछना चाहता हूं कि अगर दिल्ली में शराब घोटाला नहीं हुआ तो सीबीआई की जांच शुरू होते ही शराब नीति बदलने की जरूरत क्या थी बार बार बेल एप्लीकेशन लगाने के बाद भी राहुल द्रविड़ी कोर्ट उनको बेल नहीं दे रही है अगर इसमें कोई घोटाला नहीं हुआ तो क्यों नहीं अरविंद केजरीवाल जी कोर्ट में जाकर कहते हैं कि आप उनको बेल क्यों नहीं दे रहे हैं अगर इसमें कोई घोटाला नहीं हुआ तो ईडी ने चौहत्तर करोड़ रुपए की एसेट्स जो ऐसी बेनामी संपत्ति इससे शराब पॉलिसी से उन्होंने इकट्ठी की है और जो दिल्ली की पोस्ट कॉलोनीज में है और उनके बैंक के खाते ये सभी ईडी ने सील कर दिए हैं जब्त कर दिए हैं हम तो कॉपरेट करेंगे मनीष सिसोदिया जी जाएंगे सीबीआई को कॉपरेट करेंगे मगर कल को जब पकड़ लिया जाएगा तब क्या बोलेंगे कि सब मिले हुए हैं सब जो है ऊपर के इशारे पर काम कर रहे हैं एल जी साहब काम नहीं करने दे रहे तो ये है सारा मामला मैं अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को चुनौती देता हूं मैं राजनीति से संन्यास ले लूंगा वो जैसे कह रहे हैं कि दिल्ली में घोटाला नहीं हुआ और जब एल जी साहब ने ऑर्डर किए यहां पे इंक्वायरी के उसी समय पॉलिसी वापस ले ली जैसे सीबीआई ने इंक्वायरी स्टार्ट करी आप पंजाब में भी एक बार इंक्वायरी करवा दो कि वहां पर होलसेलर कैसे हुए किसको ठेका कैसे मिला वहां पर भी इंक्वायरी करा दो उसमें भी घोटाला मिलेगा शराब घोटाला नाम की कोई चीज नहीं है कोई घोटाला नहीं हुआ सबसे अच्छी पॉलिसी देश में सबसे पारदर्शी पॉलिसी हम लोगों ने बनाई यही पॉलिसी जब पंजाब में लागू की गई तो पंजाब में फोर्टी एट परसेंट रेवेन्यू बढ़ा सेम टू सेम पॉलिसी तो दिल्ली के अंदर इन लोगों ने जानबूझ के पोलिटिकल वेंडेटा के तौर पर राजनीतिक षड्यंत्र के तौर पे इन्होंने ये सारा केस रचा है मनीष जी कल जाएंगे हम पूरा कॉपरेट करेंगे और अंत में सच की जीत होगी All right, let's go across to Priyanchi. You heard the Delhi Chief Minister saying, in the end, the truth will win. So, Mr. Sasodia Priyanchi has been asked to appear at 11 a.m. at the CBI headquarters tomorrow. That's, of course, going to be a big story all day. But he has already been questioned in the past, correct? And the AAP keeps pointing out that he's been questioned, his offices have been searched, his home has been searched, etc., etc., and nothing has been found. So, do we know? Uh, why he has been called in again and based on what is he uh, going to be questioned? Absolutely, Sarah. The CBI sources say that he's been questioned again because they have some things to show that he tailored the Delhi liquor policy to benefit some people, to benefit some uh, contractors. So that's the basis on which he's been questioned again. Uh, as you mentioned that, uh, in fact, he has been questioned in the past as well. He was questioned on October 7th, uh, October 17th for about eight hours, after which he said that uh, the CBI actually pressurized me to leave the Ahmadmi party. And in fact, they offered me a CM post to leave the Ahmadmi party. 
Party. So that was his allegation, saying that they only want me to leave the Aam Aadmi Party and they only want to uh, create a political vendetta, whereas they have nothing substantial to prove anything against me. And he's also said that uh, when the CBI searched his bank lockers in the month of August last year, uh, he said that they found nothing. They only found jewellery for about uh, worth about 70,000 rupees, uh, which belonged to my wife and children. So the CBI actually found nothing, but they are continuing this only uh, to stop me from doing good work in the field of education in Delhi. But on the other hand, let's tell you what the BJP is saying on this. The BJP is saying that if at all the, the liquor policy was completely clean and there was nothing wrong with it, why did the Ahmadmi party roll it back? Why did they withdraw it? They're also questioning that if there's nothing wrong, then why are the five accused in this case? Why are their bail applications rejected by the courts? Those are the questions that uh, the BJP is raising. Now, the Aam Aadmi Party also says, as you just heard, that uh, a similar policy was used in Punjab as well and that has resulted to an increase in revenue for Punjab. But BJP says that, is, that, that, that has only resulted in an increase in revenue by about 30% uh, in Punjab, but the profits have not increased. So they are saying that the money is actually going to wholesalers and not the government. So they say uh, that while the sales of alcohol have increased, the revenue for sure has increased, but that extra revenue is going to wholesalers and it's not coming back to the government. So that is the major face-off between the Amadmi party and the BJP on this entire alleged liquor policy scam. Ahmadmi Party says there's no such scam. But of course, we'll find out as in when the CBI investigation progresses tomorrow. They'll be questioning that will start at around 11 a.m. So all eyes on that. Uh, we also... Uh, saw that uh, the BJP uh, MP Parvesh Verma said that till now the Aam Aadmi Party has been saying that they will fully cooperate in CBI's investigation but if at all Mr. Mr. Manish Sisodia gets arrested tomorrow then Aam Aadmi Party will very conveniently say that uh, BJP and CBI are colluding together. That's what the BJP has said. Uh, we also asked the Delhi Chief Minister if there's a fear among the Aam Aadmi Party uh, that uh, if uh, Manish Sisodia could get arrested and Mr. Kejriwal said that that's up to the CBI to decide. So that's the entire face off as it's playing out but of course all eyes on what happens uh, in Manish Sisodia's questioning tomorrow.